Hello everybody and welcome back to Ostreve. Uh, for those of you who are new, I'm Katmandu and in this episode we're going to continue on with our playthrough of Ostreve. Um, yeah, so if you guys are enjoying this series so far, don't forget to leave a like. Uh, yeah, if you are liking it, don't forget to subscribe as well if you haven't already. Uh, both the likes and subscribes really do help me out massively, so if you could show your support by liking and subscribing, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, I have noticed um, over, I think it's about 80% of you guys who are viewing the videos uh, are not subscribed. So yeah, don't forget to drop a subscribe, man. Obviously, it only takes a couple of seconds. If you guys are liking what you're seeing, then yeah, just drop a subscribe, man. It would be greatly appreciated. I am trying to build up my my um, subscribers. Obviously, I'm trying to hit a thousand by the end of the year. So yeah, you guys can contribute to that just by hitting that subscribe button. Um, yeah, basically, what? Hey, wait, what? Oh no, why have I got no workers here? Uh oh, made a big boo boo. I think I took them off last year because they were just fallow, but... Oh, mate, they're going to be planting late. Damn, that's two wheat as well. Oh, my God, I made a boo-boo. Yeah, so I think in this episode, we're just going to continue on sort of building our little farming town. Um, yeah, I need to get that sort of sorted fairly quick. Um, oh, I can't believe I messed that up. Right, they're all fallow, but I've got workers there. Can I take all them off and hope that they come here, please? I must have took them off because they were both fallow last year, but I forgot to add them back on. I need to pay attention to that because we could have just wasted two fields of wheat. Or at least, at the very least, it's going to be... Uh... Oh, they're sowing it now. Obviously, I think these... Yeah, look, these are not really being sown yet. So, hopefully, it should be... It's only two fields, so... <clears throat> hopefully, it should be all right. Hopefully, he says. Um, so, yeah. So, basically, in this episode, I'm trying to get loads of food. Uh, I did link this cow shed as well to these fields, hoping that they would... Um, the cows would get brought over to pasture in here, but they're not. So, I don't really understand that. I have linked it. So, use follow field if available. Oh. 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 Is that, is that it? Is that all it took? Wow. <laughs> okay. So I just had to click a button. Use follow field if available. Damn. Where the hell are they going? They're going a long way around. I would rather um, use this one. Just because this was the worst one. And I think it makes it more nutrients. I think it makes it go faster, I think. I should keep an eye on it. 45.57. I'll just keep an eye on it. Yeah, so I'm building two houses here, plus another two. I think I needed about 12 houses down here in total. Um, and I was hoping that they would work these fields, because these take five. So that's going to be 5.10. And then I've got 11, 12. And then I'm going to probably do another two fields this side. So that's going to be 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. Uh, and obviously each house is two. So if I do 12, that'll be 24. So that'll be two spare people, which obviously will just become labourers. So hopefully that'll be enough houses down here. How are we getting on down here? Gee, I can't believe I was late on that one. 47.59, so it's not really going that much faster. Oh, use follow field if available. Sweet. Okay, so I just needed to click that little button. Yeah, so as you can see, everyone's becoming hungry. Everyone's out of food. Even though I've got food here, look. I know it's not a lot, but we have food, so they can just come and get it. Uh, I know I haven't got a lot. Uh, I understand that, but I have got some food. Um, what are we like in the granary? Right, we've just got salt. Right, yeah, so we are starting to make um, this uh, our first batch of um, leather. So it says here that it will be until September, and it should give us a batch size of 500. So, And then we can start making these saddles for the horses, and then we can start turning some of these horses, because I've got a few horses in here now. 
and it's getting a bit packed. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the oldest animals, like so this female and male. Uh, I'm going to turn them... One, two, three, four, five, six. I thought I had a female, unless it was that one. Yeah, so I'm going to turn two horses into... Um, what are they called? These um, draft horses. Is it draft horses? I think so. Yeah, so, uh, but then obviously I can start making the uh, wagons then as well. So we can start using wagons for transport. So that'll be handy. Uh, when I get up to about 15 livestock as well, I'm going to turn some of these older... I'll probably turn... Mm, I don't know. I want to turn a couple of oxes. Uh, I want to turn a couple of bulls into oxes. So then they can plough the field. And I think that makes things... I think that sort of nourishes the ground a lot better as well. Uh, there is a way that you can sort of read this. So you can double check, I think, by the farm here. Uh, yeah, so you can read all that. Yeah, look, ploughing helps restore soil fertility. So it makes it sort of more fertile quicker. So I do want to start getting some ploughs going. Obviously, I can't plough the field. Uh, I'm trying to think as well where you actually make the ploughs. I'm not actually too sure. Is it here? No, that's a wagon. Is there? Or unless it's... It must be somewhere you make the plough, surely? I'll have, to, I'll have to have a look into that. Because I know you got this wagon shed. That holds up to four carts. That holds up to three wagons. But what about... What about ploughs? Or do they just happen automatically, maybe? I'm trying to find the... Yeah, so they must just... Ploughs just must be in the game already. I don't know. We'll have to... We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out anyway. We'll sort it out. Obviously, that's helping the fields out a little bit. These two were pretty good. Obviously, that's already 100-100, so it was this one that was the worst one, so I was hoping that would be a bit better, but how are you getting on over here? Right, you're still only sowing that. How are we like here? Right, we've sown them two. That's already growing. See, we haven't, we haven't finished even sowing this one yet, and we've got this last field. Oh, they're already starting sowing that as well. Well, it's already in June, though. That's why I need these houses here. Because I'm hoping that these people work at the farms. Because I'm going to have a lot of farms here. But in turn, obviously, I need the food. Because obviously, I need the food to feed them. So food's going to become a massive problem. Uh, we should be making tons of wheat. We should still have plenty of wheat. Yeah, we've got loads of wheat, so it's just mainly other types of food. So we need like tons more potato and buckwheat and just a different type. Because obviously if I click on here, just obviously sunflower oil, we need to probably make some more of that. But obviously it takes a lot out of the, out of the ground. You could probably do, what am I doing here? Sunflower oil and buckwheat. Yeah, see, that's a decent trade-off. Or you could do sunflower oil and hemp. But obviously, hemp's not really a food. Yeah, so if I was going to do another field of that, it'd have to be sunflower and buckwheat. So that's fine. Right, that's growing. That's starting to grow. We're sowing that. Nearly sowed that. Okay. So I'm hoping this year is going to be a decent yield. And then, obviously, what I might start doing is... I'll start laying down the foundations for the next farm. Obviously, like I've said before, guys, my aim for this series is to get up to 300 people. Because uh, to get to 300 people, then you can... Well, to get over 300 people, you need to build the church. So, if you want, you see there, required to grow population beyond 300. So, I think as soon as we hit 300 and build the church, that'll be this like the series finale, I guess. Because then... You can just go on forever then. There's not really anything else for us to build. Apart from the last thing is the church. Obviously I might revisit it and come back when they introduce health and uh, education. By the minute they're still just works in process, uh, in progress. So that's sort of fine. I'm happy to wait. 
I'm always happy to wait for quality, uh, quality sort of updates and that, so. Why have I got nothing in this warehouse? Why have I got no one working in the warehouse? Why have I got two warehouses? I don't even remember building that warehouse, to be honest with you. I really don't remember building that one. I got one over here as well, anyway. Yeah, that's full of stuff. Got the granary over here as well. Yeah, I've got the one market over here just for these two houses, but... Obviously, I can't really do anything until everything's sort of sown and growing. So I'm hoping we get a good yield this year. Obviously, everyone's complaining. People might start moving out, but... Obviously, like I said, people are hungry, but there's food. See, I know it's... Again, I know it's not a lot, but we do have food. It is coming in in little bits. So, if anyone hungry, they can come and get some food. It's not a problem. Uh, we've got a visitor. Hopefully, we can get some monies. Uh, shoes, see what I mean? They're selling shoes, whereas I wrote down that we can actually sell shoes for... Uh, how much was it? Shoes were quite good. Uh, 64 coins for 200 shoes. Uh, the best one is actually metal parts. Metal parts and horseshoe. They both give me 200 for... Uh, they get, both give me 100 coins for 200. But everything else I don't actually need at the moment. Um... Yeah, see, we've got horseshoes in there. We've got metal parts. Uh, what are we actually making at the moment? Oh, we've got 50 horseshoe there. What are we like for iron? 512. 512 and 476 there, so that's fine. Yeah, we can start moving stuff into here. If we've got, like, here with the nails. Obviously, we're full on nails here, so if you want to bring some over here so you can keep producing them. Um, yeah, we're still waiting for the tannery to do. My man's working hard on it. Uh, no textiles. We have got some hemp there. I don't know how many hemp it takes for the textile, but... I don't even know if I'm making any hemp this year either. Oh, yes, we are, yeah. Hemp, wheat, buckwheat. Nothing in that one. Uh, potato, potato, fallow at the end there. Yeah, so we really did. We had, we've had we got a few fallow fields, so we really did need this two wheat up and running. It is both growing now, so that's fine. And then we've got these fields down here as well. Potato, buckwheat, buckwheat. We've got potato, potato, wheat. So we're going to have tons of potato. Is everything planted and growing? Yes, it is. Excellent. Good job, guys. Because they were a bit slow on these fields last year. All right, you're already moaning about not enough food. Right, okay, I'm just trying to see why we got a bit of wheat there, but that's it. What I might do is I might build a granary here, so they can store some food over here. I think that's going to be really important. Actually, that'll look quite nice, won't it? Just coming off of the bridge. That'll look quite nice. Still get round. Actually, hang on a sec. Let me move that a sec. Because I like that little road there. I don't really want to encroach on that road. Uh, so let's redo that. Let's go as close to the water as we can. And just go as close to here as we can. Oh, that's alright, actually. Yeah, that's, that'll do. And then, yeah, obviously, in time, we're going to have to build a lot more sort of houses down here. And then I'll do some field sort of down here. Obviously going to have a bit of a patch here that might be sort of empty. Obviously we've got um, decorations and stuff we can do, so that's fine. I think I've got some decorations to do up here actually, because I don't think I've done here yet. Obviously every time I do a little road like this, I always like to do a bit of decoration. So I think I'm going to put the benches... Yeah, I think I'm going to put the trees down first on this side uh, let's just try and see now see I don't want the little pine trees what about a lattice tree a birch now that looks like they got birches in their garden let's go for that ash tree then 
Well, I like to put them here on the fences. Actually, I, I've figured out as well that if you if you press um, left shift and plant, obviously you can multiply it. So that's quite handy. Do one here. Put one there. Beautiful. And then if we spin the camera around, we'll put some fences, uh, we'll put some benches opposite the trees. Just so when people come and rest, they can have a little, uh, they can just look at the tree and just chill. Uh, there we go, we have a bench right there. We can do the same for the benches as well. So if we hold left shift, just sort of roughly put it where the fences meet. Don't know why, I'm just, it just think it looks better. <laughs> Do that one there. Gives people a place to rest when they're not working. And put that one there. Beautiful. They just go down straight away. Um, spin around here. And then I'll do my uh, I'll do my arches as well. I've already got one there. I don't remember putting that one there. Did I? Have my arch at the end of each like street because obviously I, I like to see these as like that's a street that's a street and we've got another street here and another one there so we've got like four streets really that's a big street though that is that's a bit wide that was my first one so that was a lot of i like these thinner ones so we'll do another another little arch here uh, let's go for a small one should tuck in nicely in there bam there we go, it looks nice and neat, doesn't it? See, look, they're chilling on the bench, just taking a rest. And then they're obviously in time, they'll have a big tree to look at, like these guys. Look, we've got one of these big um, cottonwood trees. And obviously, we've got the bench just sitting here. So it just makes it, just de decorating it a little bit better. Obviously, I have seen, look, we have had a couple of people leave, but... Obviously, that's fine, I can't, can't really do anything about it. I do like the fact that when the cows are here sort of grazing, which look, that has bumped that up quite a lot, to be fair. So that's actually quite good. How's that one looking? That's full. This one's going to be nearly full as well, that's nice. Yeah, so when they're grazing in a fallow field, you can actually use their field as some um, crops as well. So I think that's really good, because it gives you some extra sort of farming space. So I really do like that. That's a really good idea. Um, so we're nearly in September, so this batch should be done soon. And then that's beautiful. Then we're going to start making leather and we're going to start making saddles. And then we can start turning horses into draft horses. Prepare this horse to be used as a draft animal, which I'll do the two oldest ones. Make some wagons up. Mate, we're going to be we're going to be rocking and rolling then. Uh, see, look, we've still got loads of quick lime here. 8,836. Uh, I think he's full on lime here, probably, yeah. So, still got 3,000 there. Plus another 10,000, 10,000. So I don't really need that at the minute. I will make a bridge over here eventually. When we need it. I might even connect a bridge here. And then I might even maybe put a bridge sort of here as well. To connect it via that land as well. I do want to try and put a bridge. See, because on this bit here. Obviously I've got a lot of farm. So I want to put like another sort of forestry area. And that down here. I think I want to do sort of like what I've done over here. I want to put like a forestry down here. But that's only if we need any more firewood and stuff, which we really don't. But then I can connect the lands as well, because that will be connected there. I can put a little bridge possibly here somewhere, try and connect it down here. I did want to put one here, but it didn't quite work out as planned. Like they're already out of food, that's mad. What are we like... Right, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some eggs over here. We seem to have spare of some eggs, so or shall I do I can't really do fish because Fish is not necessarily the best thing to have. Cause obviously it takes well, it takes like three people to use the fishing, but it doesn't bring in that much food. Whereas if you imagine the farm takes five people and it brings in like a thousand food or something, then it's, it's quite mad if you think of it like that. Uh, money's not great. Let's have a look at our economy. Yeah, so we're losing money, even though I haven't 
imported anything this year, so we're still losing money. I think it's this. I think it's the local sales, because we haven't really had a lot of food. So I think that's been our main sort of problem. Obviously, we're getting some food in now, so that will get taken to that farm there. Um, so at least that farm will have a bit of wheat in it. Uh, this should have, yeah, that, so that, they're getting hemp. Right, okay. That They should be getting loads of wheat as well. He's already farming potatoes and whatnot, so you should be able to bring them over here. Family's moving out, that's fine. Can't really do a lot about it at the minute. Yeah, we'll have a granary here trying to supply these market stalls. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take from other warehouse, take from other granary. On all these. Oh, we've got a thousand nails in there, that's nice. I'm going to do that as well. Alright, that's fine. So, I want, obviously, I want the majority of the marketplaces here for our little town. I might have to do some up here. Just because maybe they're struggling to walk too far. They might be struggling too far for the markets, even though it's not really that far away, as you can tell. It's not really that far away, so... shouldn't They shouldn't be having a problem. See, it's a family moves out and a family moves straight back in. Because it says I, I hit all the criteria for, for a family, so... It's settled in... I mean, I've had some families here since, look, 17 years ago. So I've had some families here since day one. And obviously they've never moved out, although they might move out soon. They haven't got no money. Sorry, they've got money, they haven't got nowhere food. I've got food though. Got plenty of food. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have as well. I think Oh mate. I've got two male pigs. <laughs> That's why they're not breeding. I've got two males. Oh, I'm an idiot. So when we get another trader in, I'm going to have to see if they got pigs. Why did I get two males for? <laughs> I'm so stupid. Oh, so we've got meat. So we've got plenty of eggs. So hopefully they bring them over here. Give these guys a bit of food. Yeah, they've only got potatoes. They're just making baked potatoes for dinner. That's it. Look, these are rolling in it. Look. You got milk and fish and flour and the cows don't really seem to produce that much milk though. To be fair, how's this field looking now? Oh, it's nearly mate. That's great. It's great news. Actually, can I get rid of? Yeah, I don't want another fallow field. Jeez. Right, how are these doing? You got plenty of potatoes. You're getting fish. We can just grab some potatoes from there, bro. Fish is alright, man. Two fishing docks sort of seem to be producing enough. I need to remember to put the... Uh, put the workers back on when, when it's all done. Can't forget that one. Right, we harvesting. How are we doing here? And potatoes. Right, so the growth on these two back ones weren't that good. Uh, they obviously, I'm guessing it's because they sowed them late. So we ain't really got, as you can tell, we ain't really got a lot of growth here, really. Probably ain't going to get a lot from these last fields. Maybe I should have just kept with the two. But at least we'll get something, I guess. So surely something's better than nothing, I guess. But open with these farms in here. Uh, with these, sorry, with with these houses here, I'm hoping these will start working at the farms. What we've got another. Uh, yes. Ooh. They want horse that. They want metal parts. Right. Um, hang on a sec. I've got metal parts, haven't I? Yeah, I'm not even making horse tack yet. Horse tack will be for us, though. No, cancel. Uh, pigs. Can I get... Right, boars are the males, aren't they? So can I get two? I get two females. 
Um, I can sell you a hundred parts. Fifty. And then if I can get another 500 iron. I like keep getting iron every single time it's sort of there. Because we ran out last time and I'm not making that same mistake again. So metal parts are pretty good. Actually, we've got 100 there. Can we... Ah, oh, see, I can't do another. Can I do 200? Because if we're storing them in a warehouse, then I might as well just put them in here. If I can get all the metal parts put in here, maybe you can do another trade for another 100. Might as well if I've got them, because I've probably got like... Yeah, see, I've got 40 there. Might as well just try and make some more. Try and make some more money. Come on, bring them over. How long's he here for? Visiting for three more days. Oh, I can't do it again. It's gone now, look. Oh, damn. Damn. Oh, no. Oh, that's a shame. I can't even click on this to sort of like highlight it and do it again. Oh, man. Never mind. Yeah, I need to hurry up and draft these horses because they'll end up dying soon, won't they? Get too old. Um, I don't know whether to maybe kick in that other windmill now. Because I'm going to have so many... I'm going to have so much wheat. 1,005 there. 700. Might not have so much there. What are you bringing? Oh, you're bringing the iron. Who's collecting? What you got? Oh, you got me pigs. They should be female ones then. Alright, so there's my iron coming in. Down to 260. 256, right, okay. Yeah, let's bring all the metal parts over. We'll just make we'll just make loads more anyway. We've got tons of iron now. Four eight what's that? Four eight six. Three twenty there. And then obviously five hundred in there. So we'll just make some more metal parts. That's why I'd rather I'd like to have two hundred in there, really. What about horseshoes as well? We've got fifty in there. Right, let's put let's put this up to say two hundred as well. Let's get them fifty out, and then hopefully we can just start making some more again. Charcoal should be going still, isn't it? Yeah, firewood's mental. We're really good with firewood. That's fine. May ah, oh, I've done the same thing again, and I. I thought they were males, but that's females. <laughs> so I need some males, man. God damn it. I'm so stupid. Oh, I need some boars. I need the boars. I need the males. I thought that was the male symbol, weren't it? No? Am I just stupid? Yeah, I'm just stupid. I know, I know. Don't worry. We'll, we'll sort it. We're going to have plenty more pigs, that's all. That's all that means. Just going to have loads of piggies. Nothing wrong with that. Well, we're building this last house, and then the we should start working on this granary next. So that's good. Uh, we've got these houses uh, okay now. Well, we're in October, so that sh this should be done now. Woo, 500 leather, nice. Right, I'm going to need some more hide for the next batch, though. So if I can put a worker in there. I just want to make sure you're on. 
Oh, you're getting back. Okay, I might be low on hide. This is the only problem. Obviously, I can only get hide from cows. Alright, so that field's 100% now. Beautiful. I'm going to keep that on fallow next year, just so they can they can just stay in here. Alright, so that house is up. So you should be coming... Yep, yeah, should be doing the granary now. Beautiful. Alright, so you've got the leather. You can bring it over to here. Start making some saddles. Or, I think it's, yeah, horse tacks. Uh, we could also start making some shoes as well. Let me just make... Let me go to just 200. Let's just make 200 shoes for now. Because obviously I've written down how much it costs for 200 shoes. 64 coins, so... Obviously I want the leather for the horse tax, really. So I don't really want to waste too much leather on shoes when I'd rather have them making some horse tax. Because I'm going to need hide for the next lot. I'm going to have to wait for some more cows. Okay, so right guys, so yes, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you did like it, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, yeah, both the likes and subscribes really do help me out massively. So if you could show your support by liking and subscribing, that would be greatly appreciated. And um, yeah, obviously what we'll end up getting done in the next episode is obviously we'll have the horse tax coming over. So then we can start making some uh, draft horses and start making some wagons for them. And yeah, so we can really sort of like get that uh, part of the process going. So yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are too. And yeah, until the next time guys, have a good one. Peace out. <laughs>